What effect does pentacalcin produce and to what group of drugs does it belong? Pentacalcin is a nootropic which has several effects. First of all, it improves brain function, metabolism and optimizes blood circulation in the brain, all while acting as anticonvulsant. The most surprising thing about the drug is that it improves cognitive function, that is, concentration, memory, storing and processing information. These indications demonstrate how the drug as leading nootropic has a wide range of applications. What is the main component that produces this effect? The main chemical component is hypotonic acid. The substance influences the function of neurotransmitters, that is, dopamine, noradrenaline and serotonin. When we're talking about strengthening the synaptic connections in the neurons, in nerve cells, we're talking about an improvement in exchange of information in the brain. Elevated levels of serotonin and dopamine lead to better mood, increased activity and feelings of strength and well-being. That means the nervous system becomes stronger and stronger as well as more efficient. For this reason, we often use the drug in neurology, addition to treatment and psychiatry. What kinds of illnesses and conditions does the drug treat? As far as this medication is used in rehabilitation as well as severe conditions, let's say first and foremost is for chronic cerebrovascular disease and chronic disorders such as encephalopathy. It could be intoxication or even conditions following alcoholic psychosis, rehab for withdrawal syndrome in general, intoxication and addiction treatment. We also use it in pediatric neurology to treat developmental problems and neurological diseases. Can children take the drug for epilepsy and nervous tics? Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. The drug's anticonvulsant effect protects against seizures and, as a part of complex treatment, can reduce overexcitement, tics and symptoms of epilepsy. Doctors sometimes use this drug as a part of complex therapy and as monotherapy to treat unexplained symptoms. For what other pediatric conditions is the drug indicated? Can it treat enuresis or ADHD? For problems with the urinary system in children, that is, when urination isn't controlled, we can use the drug to treat a neurosis as a part of complex therapy involving reflexology and psychotherapy. How effective is the drug for treating speech development delays and stuttering? Since it alleviates anxiety and improves brain function, the drug is one of the best treatments for these kinds of disorders, precisely as a curative therapy. In what form and dose is the drug available? For convenience of use, the drug is available as a pill in two doses. There are 250 and 500 milligrams. How should adults take the medication? In what doses? Adults are prescribed the 500 milligram tablet. Sometimes the treatment calls for three pills in a day, so the maximum dose is around a thousand. One and a half thousand, two thousand, sometimes three thousand. That is, three grams a day to achieve a therapeutic effect. And how long is the course of treatment? The treatment sometimes lasts between one and a half to two months. How is the drug used in cases of severe mental and physical stress? Can patients increase the dose? Considering that stress, whether physical, school or work-related, can be intense and prolonged, we recommend a course of 250 mg two, three, sometimes even four times a day to help our patients. The length of the treatment course depends on the range of stressful circumstances. Sometimes it can be up to two or three months. The drug helps the patient deal with the stress without causing any side effects. Should you take the medication before or after eating? You should take it after meals. It's recommended patients eat and have some water to avoid possible side effects. Can you take it in the evening? You can take the medication in the evening. It doesn't interfere with sleep. When can you repeat a course of pentacalcin? Considering the drug is non-toxic, you can repeat the treatment course two, three or even four times a year. That means every three months or half a year depending on the condition for which the drug is indicated. We gradually raise the dose when starting the medication. Does the patient also need to wean off the drug when stopping it? Yes, we gradually reduce the dose when stopping the treatment. These drugs are psychoactive and influence vascular tone as well as the nervous system. The patient takes maintenance doses while gradually lowering the amount. Then we remove the medication entirely. From what age can children take pentacalcin? The official consensus is that children over the age of three may take the drug. Sometimes, however, we make exceptions according to necessity. Depending on the condition, children may even take the medication from the age of one. How are the tablets administered to infants? 
The thing is, you need to crush the pills into powder, as many mothers do, and mix it with the child's usual baby food. Just feed the infant with a spoon or out of the bottle. What dose of pentacalcins should children take? Taking into account that we are talking about a child of one or one and a half year, we try to take the medication more often, that is, four, five, even six times a day. So that's the daily dose is at therapeutic level. The dose might sometimes reach 1000 milligrams in a day, that's why we divide total amount into four or five doses. Each dose might be between 200 and 300 milligrams. So sometimes you might have to split a pill and a half or even into smaller pieces depending on how many doses the child is taking and depending on age as well. So the older the patient, the higher the dose? When the child is a bit older, they can take medication as, well, from a spoon with some drops of their favorite food or drink, they swallow it, drink it down. We administer the drug to many children this way. How long is a course of pentacalcin for children? The length of a treatment can range from one and a half to three, even four months. Basically, we're setting a goal and, as doctors, we're working to achieve the needed result. That's why we determine the dose and length of treatment according to our goals. In this case, we can say it's flexible. Everything is in the hands of the physician and head of the department treating the child. What kinds of side effects does the drug have? In practice, the drug is well tolerated, that's why parents and doctors shouldn't worry too much. It's sometimes prescribed from a very early age, because side effects are not common. Sometimes it might cause irritation in children due to a headache or some other kind of discomfort. Sometimes it might cause nausea. Small children are sometimes unable to express themselves in words. We have to notice when they're unwell. Older children describe dizziness, nausea, this kind of discomfort. It might be a state of overexcitement or lethargy. However, these side effects pass very quickly when we minimize the dose. Then we can work to find an amount that doesn't produce side effects. That is, the drug builds up in your system, we don't need to stop it entirely. Is vomiting a possible side effect of pentacalcin? Most often vomiting only occurs if the child overeats or the parents mix the medicine with food that child rejects or doesn't tolerate well. Most often vomiting is because of the food or drink containing the drug. Generally speaking, pentacalcin does not cause vomiting. Is overdose possible with this drug? Overdose. We say that in general very young children cannot take this drug. Adults can take the medication, that is, the massive overdoses have not been observed. However, sometimes people take the huge doses, sometimes they can be as high as one of 100 pills. Again, this is all connected to the central nervous systems. Symptoms could include headache, nausea, sometimes confusion, overexcitement and, conversely, nervous system depression or coma. In such cases, cases we need to perform a gastric lavage, detox the patient, ideally administer activated cold. However, the most important thing to do is control the patient's intake of the medicine to make sure it doesn't end up in the hands of children or teenagers. We know the packaging is childproof, but ideally the drug wouldn't be in reach of children at all. Who shouldn't take pentacalcin? Like many drugs in the nootropic class, it is not recommended for pregnant women, especially in the first trimester, nor for women who are breastfeeding. All the same, the drug possesses a stimulating effect, as do all nootropics. And considering this, we need to make sure that there are no side effects. Naturally, since the kidneys exert the drug, this could be renal failure or other acute disorders. Can pentacalcin be taken with other medications? In rehabilitation therapy, we typically combine pentacalcin with other drugs. These are medications, vitamins, other nootropics and vasodilators. However, sometimes we are talking about psychotropic medications, painkillers, sleeping pills or antidepressants. Of course, we need to be careful when combining these drugs because they might compound or neutralize one another or produce an allergic reaction. That's why in this case it's essential that the patient's doctor take control of prescribing, stopping or refilling medications. Are there cheaper analogs to pentacalcin? There are analogs to this medication. I list them off. There is calcium hypotonate. This is the cheapest option. It's reasonably affordable. Pentagam and Pentagam Active are a bit cheaper, but the price is still considerably high. What's the difference between medications like Pentagam and Pentacalcin? 
The active component is the same in both drugs. The difference is that a different company manufactures Pantagam in different factory. It is available as a syrup. In treating children, this is a big advantage. That is, the syrup comes ready to be administered with a measuring spoon. The bottle itself is 100 milliliters, so in one milliliter there are 100 milligrams. This makes it quite easy to measure doses. The syrup is more convenient for mothers and nurses caring for children. It is a bit less expensive than pentacalcin, but of course this is an advantage.